Dino World. Where Wait. is Dino World? At the Indianapolis Museum. Woohoo! Today we are learning about dinosaurs. Some of these are cast and some of these are real. They just opened Dino Land at the Indianapolis Children's Museum. What do you think, London, so far? I learned. We learned about sauropods. How long ago did they live? 150. How many? 150. Million years ago, right? Let's go show them some footprints from that area. Let's go. God, these are footprints of people. Of, of predators that hunted sauropods? Yeah. It might be hard to hear us because we didn't mic up for the, but that is literally a footprint right there of something that would hunt sauropods. They were called, I think, allosauruses, if I am correct. Yep, allosaurus, right down at the bottom. And then they have this fun, fun guy that talks about how they've learned so much about about seropods. London, they used to think that seropods just kind of ate leaves at the top of trees, but then they discovered they eat more like what? A household vacuum, right? How often did seropods eat? All day. Could you eat all day? I think that sounds like a challenge. If you could eat all day, do you think you would throw up? This is the seropod tail, and it comes all the way down. They are huge. London, how many of you do you think this seropod could fit in its tummy if it was not a plant eater? No, tell us. Ten? Yeah. Do they eat plants or meat? Do you think plants is a better diet? Yes. <laughs> this is really a cool display. Some of these are real bones and some are cast. The really neat thing here is that they tell you which ones are casts and which one are fossils. So we know that the back leg on this display we're at is real and part of it is real and the rest is cast. So we know that that is real and that's partially casted. The ribs are real. And most of this was found, where was the dig site, London? Was which state, Montana or Wyoming? Why, say it louder. Wyoming. That's right. Guys. What in the world is paleo, paleo art? Um, I don't know. So let's find out. What do we call those dinosaur bones? Fossils, fossils, fossils. Hmm? fossils? Exactly. They're called fossils. What were you gonna say? You're exactly right. They are fossils. <laughs> so those paleontologists. It's the last one in. Dinosaur bones. They dig up footprints. Whatever it happens to be plants, even. But all of those things turn into fossils. Now, with the dinosaur bones, important thing is that, that shows us what the insides of these dinosaurs looks like, right? Because we know what their bones look like. We can put them all back together like a big jigsaw puzzle. But how do we know what the outside of the dinosaurs looks like? Is? Now, what does an artist do? Creates. They create. What are you guys going to say? Draw. Paint. Imagine. Imagine, exactly. All good, all really good descriptor words. Now, we put that together, we've got a paleo artist. What do you think they're gonna do? So we have to study with paleo art what the actual facts of the animal are, and then we have to look at modern day animals and figure out what is the Triceratops most like. And London, you said the? Rhinoceros. Very good. London went with, London went with a? Creative, creative crazy. I went with more accurate, as did mine. No, mine's terrible. No, it's not mine. And then here comes grandma. <laughs> there you go. There's mine. There's grandma's. Now, drum roll. Where's London? Ready? Hit it. You got it? Yep, and her pop up is just a second. There we go! <laughs> and London's even has her little name on up there. So there's London, there's mommy, and there's grandma. Cool! What do you think about paleo art, London? I like it. It's very creative? Yeah. Okay, let's go, guys. 
Yeah. What do you? What would you say? What would you say to kids about paleo art? Is it cool to imagine science? It's cool to imagine science any which way. I love my art. And next time, what are we doing, Mom? We are talking to a dino archaeologist. Yay! Yay! See you next time. Bye.